professor Mohamed Shaw with you. Uh, our uh, lecture today is about uh, a flapless solar collector for water uh, uh, heating system. Uh, first of all, we have to go to your destination folder from here. Okay. Okay. Uh, don't open your model from uh, desktop. You have to assign, go to your destination folder by assigning your drive folder, your working folder, and so on. Okay, uh, you have to double clicking. Okay, this is our main model. It's simple, it's about, uh, it is not only a uh, flapless solar collector, because we, we already demonstrated this, uh, that before. Um, our subject today is about a solar uh, flapless collector uh, system heat for water heating. Um, uh, our system consists of uh, uh, we have flapless solar collector with a, a, a thermosiphon uh, concept. Um, we attached a, a small tank for each unit, and we have here uh, recirculating, uh, recirculating pump. Uh, we, because this is uh, ethylene glycol uh, in this uh, cycle, and we're going to transfer our uh, thermal power via uh, heat exchanger intermediate unit and this is our water tanks uh, water storage tank with uh, normal uh, recirculating bomb uh, bombs uh, should be powered by photovoltaic system okay you can remove this or you can add it it's up to you so we have here this is a lit cooling water to the system and this is desired output uh, uh, heating water uh, to the building, to the user, to the thermal application, whatever. Okay. And uh, we have here, uh, this is our uh, intermediate heat exchanger between uh, ethylene glycol and uh, water uh, side. Okay. Going from here, please check all, um, for model browser, check all of this. Okay, okay. Uh, what we have here for plant solar collector, let's go and assign some inputs. What is our main operating hours? Okay. Uh, what is normal uh, or average sol solar radiation? Uh, what per meter square? What is your average uh, wind speed? Let it be. Uh, okay. Ambient temperature. Your, your ambient temperature. Uh, I, I will stick myself at twenty-five. Okay, this is for operating conditions, for design. Uh, what is your thermal load? What, thermal load means your uh, storage tank. Suppose I'm, I'm going to use, uh, uh, normally it's around, for, for each unit it's around uh, 75 liter or up to 150 liter. Okay, as a storage uh, tank uh, size. So uh, suppose I'm going for 100. 150 liter, okay. For ethylene glycol, what is your uh, ethylene glycol percentages or volume? Uh, because it's a, it's a, uh, some kind of a fluid mixture. Suppose I, I'm going for 30 percent of ethylene glycol, okay. Uh, okay. For some specifications, what is your design specifications? What is your fla uh, flap glass cover? Uh, glass covers, uh, uh, number of glass covers, okay. One glass cover, two glass covers, okay. Uh, let it be one as usual. Uh, tilt angle, I think uh, 45, 30, it's around something like this. It, it depends on your design. Glass cover emittance, okay. Uh, plate, em plate emittance, plate inside, okay. Aluminium, it's uh, aluminium or uh, copper or uh, whatever. Um, we can assign some uh, losses. I will keep these things. Bottom losses, uh, tube spacing. Okay, as you can see here, this is the tubes attached to the plate. How many tubes per, per each module? How many? So, I mean, you can assign how many tubes by uh, uh, assigning you the spacing between uh, each tube. So, suppose it's uh, 10 centimeters okay a tube diameter in centimeters okay a plate thickness in millimeter 
Okay, plate material thermal conductivity. Suppose it's copper or aluminium. You can you can assign this one. Okay, so our model is ready for this. For heat exchanger, so we need uh, because this is a design model. So we have a bumping system efficiency because there is a bump inside here or attached to the tank for recirculation with a flap leak collector. So bumping efficiency around 85, effectiveness it's around 85 or 80, okay, uh, I suppose it's 80, 80%. Ethylene glyco percentage volume, uh, uh, I will keep it at 60%. What is the diameter of your heat exchanger? You can optimize this uh, by the, depending on your loads, okay, that's it, apply, okay. For uh, hot water storage, suppose I have to us uh, to deliver within uh, uh, 24 hours, okay. And the temperature is the same, wind speed uh, is the same, okay. And uh, okay, inlet uh, storage temperature, inlet, uh, inlet, inlet stream of the water to goes to the uh, storage. Uh, so I have to assign this control M and going here we can form this from here elite water water uh, storage uh, to storage temperature okay this is what we're talking about this is stream suppose it's around uh, 15 degrees Celsius okay 15 okay uh, suppose it's in winter or something like this uh, outlet storage uh, temperature your desires I, I have to reform this too I have to reform it's going here and going to outlet water okay water uh, come, uh, uh, okay, comes from heat I'm sorry. Uh, okay, uh, let it be as as it was. Be as it was. Okay. Okay, I'm talking about this. This is uh, outlet coming from uh, the heat exchanger. So we have elite here assigned, and this is top uh, temperature. Let's go for for here. Suppose it's around uh, 65 degrees Celsius, okay, and, uh, okay, early storage comes from, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yes, this is 65, okay, comes from, uh, uh, the heat exchanger, and this is our desired, suppose, to be uh, lower than this one okay I have to configure this going here okay um, this is outlet uh, storage yes this is outlet water storage temperature to the user yes this is my, our desired temperature okay we have here uh, out. This is our desired temperature or design temperature. Suppose we need uh, a storage tank medium at uh, 55, okay, and uh, the storage comes from the heat exchanger. It's around. It should be greater than this. Therefore, it's around uh, 65, something like this, due to thermal losses. You can optimize this. Sure. Storage tank volume. Suppose I, I need uh, 300 kilograms or or 200 kilograms. Let's go for 200 kilograms. Okay, and your tank diameter. We will see uh, the effect of tank diameter. Okay, insulation thickness. This is insulation thickness of the tank. Thermal conductivity of the insulation storage tank uh, there is a bomb attached to the tank 
okay so this is the efficiency of the bump okay for photovoltaic system you can choose between uh, what per meter square or um, kilowatt hour let's go for a per meter square so I have to assign some inputs uh, operating hour suppose it's eight hour for circulation and uh, solar flux it's around 500 design uh, suppose it's 280 watt module okay performance of the battery cost of the battery okay we will leave these things okay now we prepared our uh, model and now it's ready for uh, uh, running okay let's hit run and see our results we can run this dynamically or single point titration uh, okay let's see and discover some outputs okay let's run finish okay let's go inside here and see our results okay for flappy solar collector uh, this is a plate uh, temperature it's around uh, 95 mean plate temperature it's around uh, 59 uh, this is your module area of solar collector okay it's around uh, one point um, okay let's go here okay uh, I'm sorry I have to go here and I think uh, yes I have to assign this one tank volume it's around yes let's let it be here in order to adjust the uh, mass flow rate of the cycle okay let's go here ah because it's 24 we need this for eight hours okay okay uh for uh this is our uh, this is collector area it's around um 2.5 meters square meter okay and total solar feed area is around 7.5 meter square meters okay this is thermal load on the uh, flap collector heat removal factor efficiency factor fan efficiency uh, flow factor number of uh, flap collector should be used it's around three uh, three units you have to use three units of this one three units okay attached uh, to the system okay let's go for uh, heat exchanger heat exchanger uh, okay this is uh, outlet temperature from this flap collector should be it will be calculated at uh, or stick that uh, 75 degrees Celsius uh, inlet temperature to the flap collector it's around 35 I'm talking about about this this is inlet to the flap lit collector and this is outlet uh, from the uh, FBC so it's around uh, inlet at 35 and outlet at uh, 75 quite normal and we have this is uh, total mass flow rate to the cycle this is your total mass flow rate heat exchanger area and this is your bumping power okay let's go for hot water storage tank okay um, for hot water storage tank um, out the temperature to the heat exchanger is around 25 well, we are talking about this one um, here yes this temperature is it's around 25 and this is 15 degrees Celsius this is 15 so the input here is 25 and the output here, we assigned this, we assigned this before, okay. Let's go here again, it's around 25. This is a, a storage uh, circulating mass flow rate, okay. And this is thermal storage in, um, in uh, kilowatt power. Thermal losses to the ambient, okay, and bumping power. And this is the tank height okay it depends on your uh, diameter of the tank or something like this okay let's go for uh, some uh, dynamic modeling okay 
I will assign this infinity okay and let's see changing some uh, parameters double clicking here first I'm sorry and going inside and uh, I'm sorry I have to do it again I have to do this again okay going inside here and hit apply let's hit run and see uh, the effect of our result if, if we intended to increase um, the storage volume okay let's see our effect let's hit run okay I am trying to uh, increase uh, the outlet water temperature to the user up to okay increasing the temperature and storage uh, heat exchanger temperature I will increase it up to uh, uh, 70 degrees Celsius so the user gain uh, should be around 60 it's uh, let's increase the tank volume okay 20 meter cube let's increasing increasing up to 50 meter cube uh, okay as a volume it's 80 tons 90 100 tons okay 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 let's stop stop here and see our results as you can see here because we changed our temperature therefore uh, there is a uh, slightly change in mean turbulent temperature okay and this is a uh, I have to remove this one okay there is um, some kind of changing in uh, collector area as you can see increasing the collector area okay and increasing this is total solar field area okay increase massively increase because we increased as a total mass flow rate so the cycle a thermal power uh, fin efficiency overall uh, heat losses and so on uh, you can also discover your results from here let's go here and discover some results from data inspector as you can see here okay I play, this is your plate temperature uh, mean plate temperature uh, this is your flow factor okay it's between uh, 0.6 okay this is your full factor this is solar field area so module area this is your module area it's around uh, 3 meter per module this is your total solar field area and this is your thermal load and total mass flow rate this is the solar field so the module and this is uh, overall heat loss it's between uh, and uh, 6.4 is your thermal losses and we can add more more results if we would like okay let's go for um, heat removal factor uh, it's between uh, 0 0.6 and say, okay you can optimize your design in order to get uh, uh, because if if this one uh, reach to one so that means that your system is running smoothly and uh, very nice uh, most efficient fin eff this is efficiency factor and this is your fin efficiency fin efficiency okay uh, number of uh, solar collectors okay uh, and we have here this is your module area total system area this is your total system area for photovoltaic because this is for photovoltaic okay and photovoltaic area okay I forget to go inside photovoltaic and see uh, our results so 
for pumping power we need around total module areas around three meters and the total system areas around uh, 70 uh, uh, square meters okay for uh, this power it's around five kilowatts five kilowatts for this for this input for 100 uh, meter cube as you can see here uh, 100 meter cube as a, a huge uh, 100 tons of uh, uh, so for uh, uh, hot water uh, you're gonna use by uh, this system so you have to uh, uh, design your uh, system based on your um, uh, um, what is my uh, ideas what is my uh, recommendations how can I optimize my system so we have you can you can easily uh, uh, by selecting your uh, best operating conditions uh, so you can um, uh, uh, get your results optimized results according to your area and and this is your photovoltaic cost you have to pay for photovoltaics around 8400 okay or 500 okay and this is uh, for black, black uh, yes it's around 59 mean plate temperature okay heat exchanger okay so the outlet uh, temperature Outlet for electrical temperature is around 81 because we increased the the, uh, the system uh, design temperature to the user. Uh, okay, okay. So if you increase the, the desired operating condition, conditions, so the design operating condition will or also change. And this is your elite. It's around 36. This is again for for from your electrical collector. It's from, it's again, it's from 36 up to 81 uh, degrees Celsius. Hopefully, I would like to thank you um, that you enjoyed uh, um, my videos. And I would like to thank you for your interest in our uh, Red Library models. Don't forget to like, uh, share, and uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you uh, very much.